up guys? Gino here from the AB Garage. Out on another beautiful day with you. I'll tell you what, the weather this year has just been really awesome for riding. At least in my part of the country. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about why I chose the 2018 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic as my bike when I was bike shopping last year. Have you guys been following my channel? You know that I've been riding since I was a kid and got out of it for a few years had a couple of my own kids and you know real life shit happened and whatnot I've been one 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 and my girlfriend we just went to go look one day and she picked out this bike and it was like, I like the color of this one. She doesn't know fuck all about bikes. She's like, I really like the color of this one. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, nice. She's like, well, let's talk to him. And I was, are you serious? Huh? Okay. And we sat down, ran some numbers, and talked to him. And I ended up riding the bike out of the showroom that day. Not necessarily on a whim, but I'm pretty sure she did it. Told me to go ahead and get it just so I'd shut the fuck up. Because I'm sure I can be real annoying talking about certain things like that. So I'm, I'm fairly certain she was just trying to get me to shut up and... Once she realized that that didn't actually work, because now I talk about different parts and stuff for the bikes, and, and now that she's into riding, I talk about all different kinds of bikes that we can look at getting for her. So, her plan didn't really work. Anyway. I had told her that I was, you know, really wanted an Ultra, and this and that, and the main reason was because these bikes fit me. I'm 6'2", about 250 pounds of pure sexy, and the way these bikes sit, they just fit a guy with my frame. You throw on some taller bars and some highway pegs and a driver backrest and you have a rolling couch that is just absolutely comfortable, so comfortable to ride. Well, that was the main reason. And but both of my parents, when I was growing up, rode Ultras. I guess they weren't technically Ultras, but they were full dressed out Harleys, you know, with a tour box and whatnot. And so I, I kind of always had it in my head that that was what I was going to get, too. You know, add in the fact that I want to tour and truly ride this bike all over the place, you know, you kind of need the storage. I know there's a couple of people that do it, you know, on, on Dinas. Dinas are the in thing right now. I do it on Dinas and soft tails, and, but I really just wanted the, the extra space, too. And when I bought the bike, I got a lot of shit from my buddies. 
a lot of them ride, you know, street glides or heritage or road glides. Uh, I have a buddy that rides a, a sports bike too, a Kawasaki Ninja 1000, what are those, ZX R1s or ZX1, something like that. It's a, it's a leader bike that goes really fucking fast and it's stupid uncomfortable. But so I got a lot of a lot of friends that were busting my balls for getting the geezer glide is what they called it. And I went through months and months and months of being the butt of jokes because of my quote unquote pizza box on the back. It was literally called a pizza box. And you know what? I can fit about four large pizzas in that fucking pizza box. Can't do that on the street glide, so. <laughs> You know, with these 2018s, well, 17, they came out with the Milwaukee 8, and I had read about the motor, and I had looked at older, older models of Ultras to potentially, potentially buy. The problem is, I mean, you can find some low-mile Ultras, and you can find quite a few of them, actually. It's just the price tag on them. When I was looking at a price tag for these bikes, they were asking pretty close to what I paid for this one. And it was a year old when I bought it and only had 7,000 miles on it. And speaking of mileage, I don't know if you can see that. I bought this bike with 7,334 miles on it. And we are getting ready to roll over to 5,000 miles since I've owned, oh, right there. Since I have owned the bike. I know that's not a lot for some of you guys, but I live in a northern climate. And snow and salt, all that shit's legit up here. Well, anyway, I looked at older models and just couldn't really find what I was looking for in the price range that I was looking for that you know, they were asking too much in my opinion or the mileage was just super high and, I mean that's great that these guys were actually riding their bikes and they weren't you know just garage ornaments but I wanted something that had at least under 10,000 miles and, and a decent price range and this bike met all of that criteria. And with used bikes, you gotta be careful too, because you don't really know what you're getting. And yeah, you can you can find a used bike that's got a lot of the accessories and, and stuff on it that you know you're looking for. But I uh, I kind of wanted to add add on my own things and make videos about doing that and so I did other than the bars that was a pain in the ass having these damn bars I understand why people charge so much now to put on bars and after reading up on the Milwaukee 8 and a lot of guys you know, they had some issues I think with oil pump the first year they were out so you know really waiting a year to make sure Harley's got all the bugs kind of worked out of that was a good idea too but reading up on the Milwaukee 8 I, I really really wanted that motor like I said I, I looked at used what used bikes older used bikes I should say because this was used when I bought it and my parents I think they had the 88 I don't think they had the 96 in theirs yet I don't know but those bikes were pretty powerful for their size but I really wanted at least a 103 so I was looking more in, in those those year models 
I, I wanted a bigger bike because, you know, going fast sometimes is pretty fun. But eventually, you know, like I said, we just kind of stumbled on this bike and it's got everything on it that I wanted. But that's another thing is unless you're just starting out if you've been riding for years you might as well spend the money and get a bike that has the things that you want you know like a radio speakers tour box and you can add on I know Curioc and just re-released their Bluetooth speaker bars or speaker box that mounts on the bars of certain bikes but uh, I really wanted a radio and this has navigation and shit in it and then the fact that I could add other things too and really just kind of make it my own was a huge plus and uh one of the things that this bike came with that I didn't know that I needed until I got it was the handlebar, the grip warmers, hand warmers. And unfortunately, I fucked those up when I installed my bars. But that was the greatest, most awesome old man feature that this bike had that I never knew that I needed until I got this bike and then, like I said unfortunately I fucked those up and I just I was so frustrated after putting on my bars I said fuck it and I haven't torn it apart to fix it since so it is what it is you don't really need them right now anyway but yeah this bike met all of the criteria for what I was looking for. It was in the right price range, had the bigger motor, had a radio, had a tour box. It's comfy as fuck. I can take this thing across the country, which I would really like to do someday, you know, if I wanted to. And I'd be fairly fairly confident that this would make it across the country with no issues and not to mention the fact that it just fucking looks cool you can't go wrong with the bat wing I know I know guys the road glides are becoming an in thing too I they look cool from the side but sitting on them I just they are not my cup of tea so the thing looks fucking cool. The Batwing fairing is a classic. And so those are really the reasons why I chose this 2018 Harley-Davidson Ultra Classic. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you ride an Ultra, why you chose your bike. Well, even if you don't ride an Ultra, let me know what you ride and why you chose that bike. Whether it be, you know, price point, you want to go fast and rip dank wheelies or you know what it is that made you choose the bike that you chose well thanks for watching today guys uh, remember to like share comment subscribe definitely subscribe and head on over to Instagram too add me there or Twitter. I'm on Twitter too. Nobody's on Twitter anymore, but I'm on Twitter. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys.